everyone, welcome to Let's Unbox. I'm Heather. I'm Patrick. And today we have a very special treat. This is Mega Civilization. Uh, we picked this up in Essen 2015 and I know someone is really excited to open it. Well, this is awesome. I always liked the Advanced Civilization game. Robert Geislinger had been taking a lot of the art files and redoing them. We actually ran an auction at the last year's Dice Tower Con where we sold a copy of Robert's work for, I believe, $340. Now, as you can see, it's a really beautiful wood box. The outside's nicely laminated. Here's a certificate of authenticity, number 629 of 3000. Wow, so that really is a limited edition. And theoretically, they won't make more unless they sell enough that they really want to. Wow. All right, this is huge. Um, let's just start off with the best thing, the extra bags. Why are there extra bags? Because there are lots and lots of cards and stuff. Well, not only that, but they also gave us these cool little trays for the miniature cards. So, let's Lots see. of supplies to start off with. So they um, gave us 12 of those. That's pretty impressive. All right. So let's, and scary. Let's get all this out. We have lots. Oh, guys, more bags. Oh, wait. And more bags. Of course, we'll have close-ups of everything at the end because this is a ton of cards, so we're not going to be able to show you all of them uh, during our unboxing, but we will make sure that you can see what they look like. Okay, wow. <laughs> layer, layer pieces. This is the tech chart. Anybody who's familiar with Advanced Civ will recognize this. And uh, that's pretty huge and impressive. This is the census board stuff over there. Now is that the board or is that just cardboard? That's just card. This is the actual board. Oh goodness. And okay. supposedly they included the extra western and eastern maps in it. All right, I have, oh goodness. This is the cardboard, guys. Check out this stack. Holy guacamole. Well, it looks like you might have left a couple in there. Oh, goodness. All right. Whew. So. And it's actually empty now, so I'm gonna close this up. The box is empty, yes. This is a lot of stuff. So for decks of cards, you can see there's obviously a lot. They made these cards actually much larger size than a regular playing card. So that's pretty nice. They represent the technologies in the game. Um, and the artwork on it is really nice. If you remember the old Avalon Hill one, it was kind of that stick figure, horrible piece of crap artwork. Everybody loved the game, so it didn't matter, but now you can have beautiful artwork as well as a good game. Now, I realize this isn't going to get to the table a lot because it's a 10 to 16 hour game. Maybe even longer when we add in all the extra expansion stuff, but the possibility is there. Right, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a, you know, Tuesday, Thursday night, game night uh, type of a game, but we will be able to show you close-ups of this. We'll be able to show you the board laid out. We'll show you great close-ups of this fantastic, beautiful box and some of the cardboard pieces at the end. Thank you for watching. I'm Heather. I'm Patrick.